Hi everyone, my name is Sarah Brown and I am not a vlogger. I am, however, a gamer and I have started this channel to talk about mainly my favorite game, which is Dungeon Crawl Classics. I've been running Dungeon Crawl Classics for a few years now and um, I occasionally go to look for content on YouTube just to see what's out there, uh, maybe see if, if there are other people talking about the game um, on YouTube. And there are some things. There's some actual plays for sure. And then there's some reviews. And there's some other content. But not really the kind of channel that I wanted to see. So um, I decided I would start one and, and see how it goes. I I guess I should start by introducing myself. I, I've been a gamer pretty much my whole life. Uh, I grew up with, with parents who were gamers. And we would often... We'll sit down around the table and play Yahtzee or Scrabble or Monopoly, uh, Uno, basically your traditional games that were around in the 70s, and lots of card games as well. Every time my grandma would come to visit, we would play Cribbage or Yahtzee, not Yahtzee, um, Cribbage or Spades. Those are the two big ones. We play poker sometimes um, and use like M&Ms or something as our, our currency, and in the late 80s, I was introduced to role-playing games for the first time. And I was introduced in kind of a, a, a different way than, than most people. Um, my dad actually had a friend who had decided that he wanted to try running a game on a BBS or, or bulletin board system. And so I was one of the players that, that were in that game. Um, I was about 15 at the time. And, and um, we would get together on, you know, just through the forums and threads on the, on the BBS and share our characters and, and dialogue and, and what we were doing. And it was, it was really short lived. It didn't last long. I'm not even a hundred percent sure what system we were running. I'm, I'm guessing it was second ed just because of the timing of it. Um, it was, it had just, it would have been right around the same time that that second ed came out. Um, so that, that's my guess is that, that, that was what he ran because it was a new edition and, and so maybe, maybe that's what we did. <laughs> I don't know. Um, and while that, that campaign was really short lived, what it did was start a family game. Um, we, we, meaning my brothers and my mom and dad and myself and some family friends would get around, sit around the kitchen table from time to time and, and play through a game. I, I played an elven thief <laughs> named Jade for a very long time. And, and, you know, my first experiences were with my parents running games or even my, my little brothers who were quite a bit younger than me. They were like nine and 10 at the time running games. So it was all over the place. I even occasionally, or at least once, decided that I was going to try my hand at running games. It's not something I did a lot back then, but we we kind of tried to share DM duties so that everybody got to got to run and and everybody got to play and you know shortly after that I graduated college I moved away and I didn't really play RPGs at all through through the the years that I I was away um, from my family I I played lots of board games and card games um, you know we played a lot of Hearts and we played a lot of party games like Taboo and Trivial Pursuit and that kind of stuff. Um, but, but RPGs were not even in the picture during that five or six years. Unless sometimes when I came home, we would get around the kitchen table with my family and I would play, you know, bring out, bring out the character sheet for Jade and we would, we would go on an adventure. Um, in the late nineties, I moved back home and my brothers were in a weekly game, um, actually at a friend of ours parents' house, um, and so this game's always been really a family affair for me. Um, I don't know that I've ever played without a family member other than at like a convention or something. Um, so we would get together. It was a Friday night thing and she, the, the um, friend's mom would cook dinner for everybody and we'd eat and play the game. And then, you know, everybody go home at midnight or so. I mean, it was always a, an all night affair. And it was a blast. I think at this point, most of the time that we played, we were playing three. Um, 
3.5 came out during the time that we played. At that point, I was married, um, had a young child, but we were still playing this game. Um, you know, this is, this was, we were definitely at the point of epic by the time this, this campaign was over. We were playing level 20-ish characters, and, um, again, people would share with the DMing. Um, not everybody, not everybody DMed. I didn't DM, but my husband did. My brothers both did, and then occasionally someone else would. And, and that was really where my love of the game started, um, was in those sessions playing. I mean, sometimes we'd have 14 people around that table, and that, that, that was insane, but so much fun. And, and so that was, that was really where, where my love of role-playing games happened. And then again, after a while, we moved away. My husband got a job somewhere else and we moved away and, and we would pick up an RPG from time to time um, and think that we would play it and even occasionally try to run an adventure for our daughter who was, um, you know, elementary school aged at that point. And we would, we would always have stories to talk about, but, you know, it doesn't really work well to play an RPG with a, a DM and two, two players. It's not, it's, I, it's just not my favorite way. And so it never really, while we were there, never really took off. And then... We moved back to the area, oh goodness, about 2013. And and gaming became a really major, I mean, we always had family, like we would play board games. My, my daughter, my husband and I have played board games forever, um, but RPGs weren't part of that. And, and so we moved back to the area um, where my family is in 2013. And we... Still didn't play a lot of RPGs, but we got together and played board games a lot. My my husband and daughter also play miniature games, so they would um, play miniature games with my brother and and a bunch of other guys from the area. Um, and long story short, in early 2015, my brother and I decided that we were going to start a, a local Facebook group for for gamers. Um, we didn't know just a huge amount of gamers at that point. I mean, we knew maybe 20, 30 people in the area that were, you know, at least playing an occasional board game or RPG. And so we decided, well, if we know that many, just, just you know, from who we've ran into at work or, or out and about, then surely there must be more people. There were no, there was no game store really in the area or anything like that, so we didn't have that way to to connect with people. And so we started a Facebook group early 2015, and it has just continued to grow. We were at 550 some members now. Um, the group is called NEA Gamers Guild. I'll put a link down in the bottom if you happen to be um, somewhere near. Northeast Arkansas or Southeast Missouri or I guess even Western Tennessee, it's it's worth looking up. Um, we we do have quite a few events and stuff that we that we run. Um, so that's that's where I am as a gamer now is that I founded this group with my with my brother. Um, we have since um, started a convention as well and have brought my sister in, my youngest sister. Um, who is also kind of helping organizing the group and the convention. So where I'm at as a gamer now is doing that. And then, you know, playing a lot of board games and stuff and then doing um, some DCC games uh, when I can. Um, I do live about two hours away from where the, the mass amount of people from the group live. So it's not like I can just hop on down to the local game store, which there is now a local game store, which is nice. Um, but I can't just hop down there and just run, you know. So it's only once every month or two that I get to run at that place. And um, I do have, I do have fun. <laughs> and and that's why I wanted to start this channel was because I wanted to talk about my experiences with the game and and how running it has has taught me some things, I don't know, that's not really what I want to say. Um, what I want to talk about with this channel is 
my experiences and my love of the game. I, when I first, <laughs> this was, this was really recent that I decided I was going to do this. And my first thought was, well, I'm not really qualified. I, I don't know the rules back and forth. I've read through the, the rule book, um, but I haven't played a lot other than funnels. Um, we, we do have a campaign going where I do finally have some level ones. Um, but that's really still all I've done. And so I'm still learning. I'm still learning how to run. Um, obviously, I haven't run as many games as a lot of the people out there. So I was like, oh, I'm not really qualified to talk about this. So I don't know why I'm thinking about doing this. And then, you know, as I kind of pondered on it, I thought, well, really, nobody's more qualified to talk about my love of Dungeon Crawl Classics and, and what it's meant to me than me. And that was enough to, to decide that I was going to go ahead and and give this a give this a go and see how it went and so that's in a nutshell i'm going to try to post a video once or twice a week um 10 to 15 minutes just talking about something to do with gaming more likely than not it's going to be dungeon crawl classics related but as you can see i'm a board gamer um my family has miniature gamers and there are other rpgs that i enjoy as well so sometimes some of those things might sneak in there, but, but it will be mainly Dungeon Crawl Classics focused. And so anyway, I hope that you stay tuned and maybe learn a little bit more about this game I love so much. Thanks for watching. Bye.